Welcome to February 16, 2023, regular meeting of the Human Services Advisory Board. I'm calling the meeting to order at 7.01 p.m. Thank you all for attending. I'll now call roll for the record. Uh, board uh, members attendance, Allison. Here. Mary. Here. Monica. Rachel. Here. Joanne is here and Mary. I'm sorry, Gloria. Mariana. With four members out of seven voting members in attendance, we have a quorum. Staff, is anyone present uh, in person, online, or by phone to speak during the citizen comment period? Are y'all here to talk during the citizen comment period? No. no. Okay. Then no. We will now consider uh, approval by motion of the February 9, 2023 meeting uh, minutes. Do I hear a motion? This is to approve uh, last week's minutes. Motion to approve. Okay. And that was made by Allison. And do I hear a second? Second. Uh, does the board have any uh, discussion or corrections regarding the minutes? All in favor say aye. All against say nay. And I hope our staff facilitated the discussion on what board members on the fiscal year 22 23 human service grant application for the purpose of comparison, evaluation, and selection to create a recommendation to City Council on which applicant. Agencies should receive funding and how much funding should be granted to each selected agency. The discussion is public, however, it is only among board members. This time is meant to be free flow of conversation, but please make your uh, comments succinct to allow time for all board members to share if they wish. The discussion will be facilitated by Carol Griffin Housing and Community Development Manager. Carol, you the floor is yours. Okay, um, I thought I would just bring up the spreadsheet that y'all had asked me to create. And so I'll share my screen. And here's the spreadsheet. So what I did was, as you know, I added five points for each of the four items that council asked y'all to prioritize. And then that changed the rank a little bit. So here's the new ranking. And we can go over any of this. I just thought I'd go over it really quick. And then I um, gave 55% of the amount to the top 15 and 20% to the rest. And the way it ended up, if I scroll down, we're at a total of $536,000 or almost 537. And so, um, Council had specifically asked not to go over the 500,000. So um, y'all have a little bit of cutting to do, but I left it at the straight 5520. And then I know that you had mentioned um, looking at the outliers that are receiving a high amount of money. Um, I, I can sort of highlight those, I think. We have Melge with 40,000. We have Hill Country Mental Health and Development Disorder with 50,000. Um, you may consider Home Center to be an outlier. I'm not sure. They're just because they're they're sort of low on the ranking. Um, going up, the next high one that I see is within the top 15. You've got some. You have these two. That are for 40,000. Um, so it's up to y'all. They're, you know, that high because they're getting 55% of their request. So um, I would kind of, and then, oh, and here's the food bank at 30,000. So those are our top awardees right now. Um, so I guess I would kind of want y'all's discussion, like uh, as you had mentioned last week, to talk about the outliers. And so, what are you thinking about these that um, I've highlighted in yellow? Um, 
Yeah, I think my my opinion is I think these these for sure the bottom tiers have an opportunity for a cut. Um, you know, some of them have you know in multiple areas, um, either zero or blanks. I think you had mentioned Carol. The blanks mean that they didn't they weren't awarded money last year and or were not required. Is that right? They weren't awarded money last year. Okay. Hey, Carol, I did notice um, on one of the organizations, I think we had given them a deeper cut than the 20% the first round. It was Hill Country Mental Health and Development Disorder. So there, with doing the percentage on the new proposal, it actually bumped them up higher than they were by $30,000. And I think that that covers some of our different net overage that we've got. I just wanted to ask if you could double check that to make sure I was reading that right. Yeah. Yeah, the last time they were at 20,000, um, they had requested 250,000 and y'all had decided to cut them to 20,000 last year, last, uh, last round. Right, Carol, what do you think about yeah, they were okay. just okay. speak up a little okay. right yeah. so I'm used to bit on my computer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rachel, what do you think about uh cutting them back down to uh twenty and taking thirty thousand from there? I, I would be fine with that. I I don't think I mean just because it's one of the yeah. the lower ranked organizations, like from our the whole first round we had already cut them, so I think it, that logic still works for me. I don't know how everybody else feels about it. Allison, you shaking your okay with that? Yeah, I agree. I remember that we did a lot of discussion on the two that were 250 um, last time. And so I think it's fair to stay with, with our original uh, negotiated amount. So we'll change them to 20,000. And then the other one that I think I think that had been changed last time. What was the last time? Oh no, that one was at 40. Are y'all okay with taking the 6,000 from um, Iron Sharpens Iron? Yeah, I was trying to find my notes on that one. I think this was the one where they were doing um, uh, for, um, increasing support who are for folks who are leaving the criminal justice system going back into society and I I, I want to say this was the one that that does some of the art projects with them is that am I remembering that one correctly or was that the superhero rough draft That's the superhero rough yeah draft. Okay. okay yeah but this one was just uh, for the uh, integrate back into society with the uh, Incarcerated uh, reentry program, yeah, and also helping uh, the families as well as they integrate back into society, helping them with uh, finding employment and um, also counseling uh, anything to deter them from uh, regressing back into a life of crime. Well, but if you look at their budget, um, their budget is $125,000 and they ask us for $200,000. Is there an echo? Yeah. I got to turn off my other computer. Wait a minute. I had a problem. Hold on. We don't have another program like that. It's not a duplicate program. <clears throat> this is the only program that we have here in the market uh, like that. And I've checked on their success uh, for Austin. Uh, just because I was interested in this program. Uh, and they're very successful with what they do in Austin. And they've been doing it for a while. I know that this is their first time in San Marcos, but this is not their first rodeo. They're not a startup. They're not what? 
a startup. Not a startup program. I can't see what what do we have on that right now? Forty. Forty. But their budget is their budget is one hundred twenty five thousand dollars, and they were asking for two hundred. And um, you know, the only demographic report that they submitted was for April to June, and they did four people assisted. I, I just, I really think that we should take a look at cutting this program. And I'm sorry about the feedback. I don't know what the problem is. But you, if you understand the nature of the program, four people is a lot. If you understand the components and what it takes to um, bring someone back into um, uh, the community and get them um, caught up, you know, some of these folks are, have been incarcerated a long time. You know, so the counseling and, you know, you have family. I can't hear you. It's Mary? not just the individual themselves. It's a full component. So four people is, is a lot. And you just want to mute him. You're cutting out a little bit. Could you repeat the last sentence? I said four people is a lot. If you understand the program and the steps it takes and um, to bring people who have been incarcerated back into a community, reacclimate them and get them um, started again. Um, it's not like you just, you're back and I throw you these resources and you, you go out on your own and good luck. Um, so there's follow-up. Uh, with the person, you know, and when children and you have a spouse and, you know, there's housing and, and job development and, you know, all the necessary things that go along with uh, coming back um, after living in a different world um, and coming back into a world that you've been separated from, things have moved on and where is in prison, things just kind of stay the same. Uh, you're not exposed to um, what is going on out in the, per se, real world. Um, so uh, four yeah. people is a lot. It really is a lot for that program. You know, I'm, I'm a big supporter of any kind of criminal justice, you know, support. But again, you know, they rank 38. Uh, or uh, this is only their second year. I'm a little vague on on exactly what they what services they provide um, based on their um, application. Um, uh, and this is their second application with us. Right, two years. This is their second year. Mm -hmm. So and they provided what we needed last year. I'm just saying that, um, you know, the program is needed. It's new. Okay. It's needed, but... I, I, I don't agree with cutting them. Um, you want to give them the full $40,000? I don't, I didn't hear how much y'all were saying. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't hear uh, what you, how much money you were saying you wanted to cut them. Well, there, there, we, we offered uh, $40,000 um, and uh, seeing their entire budget is, uh, and, and there's no, there's, there's no other um, agency that they ask for funding and, the, and there's no, um, there, that's the only budget there is is uh that's it that there's no other funding that they didn't ask for any other funding and um well what do you want do you, you don't want to cut it at all I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Them, uh, 
but no more than that. Yeah, I think. I um, like I can't hear you. Um, code on everything, so but I'll be okay with cutting ten thousand off. What, what are you saying? More. Yeah, I was just going to say that, you know, being ranked 37 out of 38 um, and getting such a high budget compared to others, um, I think we should we should cut into that amount. Um, so I'm for cutting into it. How much I think is is debatable. Is 10,000 10, OK? I want more. Just saying. Can we start with 20,000, just cut that in half to 20,000 okay. and then uh, just revisit it after we look at the other ones? Yeah, but why are we digging in so deep there? Well, we haven't even looked at the other areas. I mean, I know, um, why don't we identify the ones that we want to look at and not mm -hmm. try to put a number on it real quick? Okay. Okay. Well, one of the criteria. Comparatively, who else got 40 or more no outside one. of the top 15? No one. So just, um, so nobody, let me get back over there. Hang on one second. Iron Sharp and Iron got 40K, and the next highest one was Treasured Protege at 35,750. She asked which ones. At 40 pounds. Hang on a second. Um, where's treasure protege? Sorry, let me find treasure protege. Would you be okay sorting by um, a column AJ and we'll go top award and just kind of take a look at. I think it would be interesting to see what types of programs receive the most funding. Okay. Because I think we're all in agreement that all of these programs are needed, but if we're seeing, you know, children and women abuse funds are less than maybe iron sharpens iron, like maybe that'll give us some perspective potentially. I'm going to go ahead and cover up some of the columns. So that we can see everything. I may make it a little smaller too. Hang on a sec. Let me get this set up a little better. Let's go back to 150. Let me know if this is too small. But um, can everybody see that? That puts a few more on the page. Oh, I sorted by um, lowest to highest. So here we have the highest. It is ranked nine and 10 and with 41,250. And then you have, and that is access, which um, are programs for youth and then family and youth success is a youth program. Um, Wait a minute, you access. You can see in the white column is what y'all recommended before. Um, so that is kind of a substantial increase. They bumped up in um, ranking. And so they're getting a higher percentage of their request than they were last time, this one especially. And then you can see it goes down from there. What is this? Okay, access. Access is now proposed at 41 yeah, because it moved up to number 10. And so it's getting 55% of what they requested instead of 20% of what they requested. Oh, well, I have an issue with that. I, 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 I don't know why I didn't have this information. Maybe I didn't. I mean, I thought I downloaded everything that sent me, but um yeah I'm, I'm willing to talk about access okay and then just going down the list quickly we have family and youth success with the greater san marcus youth council also at forty-one thousand. and we have um meld iron sharpens iron 
Hayes County Food Bank, Home Center, Emergency Shelter with Southside, Salvation Army. So these are all kind of the emergency programs right here. Um, Hayes Caldwell Women's Center, Family Violence Program. And then we've already cut Hill County. So after that, it gets lower. Okay, well. Um, so access, uh, there was a total of 69 students served in San Marcos, that's it. Um, there was no additional funding uh, requested or, or listed. Um, the salary alone uh, amounted to $353,000. Uh, um, and their total operating cost is $456,000. So most of that goes to salary. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they, they broke it down uh, demographically uh, and, and uh, submitted uh, a quarterly report over and over for the same quarter. And they, they help a total of uh, wait a minute, 17, 17, 24 people, 24, that's it. So, um, and there was absolutely no financials or, or budget reports at all submitted. So I'm not impressed. <laughs> yeah, I think this was like after school summer camps and educational programs right. um, focused on STEM careers right. um, for low income K through 12. Right. So, so I, I take your feedback, but I would say that um, I still think it's an important program. Um, With the uh... I would be comfortable if we wanted to take a cut to theirs as well, too. Well, the most valuable part of the program, in my opinion, is the Bridges program, which, you know, try to uh, pro uh, provide youth employment. Yeah. For 25 low income high school students. But, you know, given you know this amount of money for a, a summer camp program when there's all these other you know uh, existence needs to me doesn't 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 work for me but it's an opportunity for a wider variety of an array of uh, students uh, participants I think sometimes we, we get so focused on and we get comfortable with seeing the same thing all the time. And it's not like one, you know, same shoe fits everybody. And as far as the quality of the program, I think you have to understand and really know what the program entails. Um, and their children who participate in as the participants, they don't enter at the same level. So I'm just, I'm just saying, keep that in mind. We start talking about numbers because I keep hearing about, oh, it's only this uh, amount. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going back to Mel, it's four people is a lot of people when you're dealing with reentry, dealing with people who have been incarcerated for some of them a great deal of their lives and coming back and trying to reacclimate them this new world that they've been out of a while. Um, well, and you don't know what they're doing for those four people, though. You know, it, it's anywhere from, you know, just counseling to, um, you don't know exactly what, what they're doing for those four people. Well, we need to ask them. This is their second application. Right. We knew the first application, what they were doing. So um, who else? Who else got stepped up? Uh, 
I, I just wanted to add something real quick. I'm a little concerned. You know, we, we ranked all of these organizations the first time, then Carol went through all the work to add points for what the city council gave us as far as guidance. It changed the rankings a little bit. Like with access, they were 16 and now they're 10. I don't know if I'm really comfortable with starting to try to dig into and cut programs that are were higher ranked both times. If we're gonna cut, I feel like maybe we should be looking at the ones that we all ranked lower or the averages ended up lower. So, and I'm not trying to sidetrack anybody, but maybe just a level set of, we already went through all this work to rank everybody. Like we, we're $6,000 off of our 500 right now. Yeah. And we talked about, you know, Mel, and I agree, it's a great program, it's needed, but it is, I agree with the points that Gloria was making, it's a, it, it's a big ask, they asked for 200,000. So if we're giving them 40, you know, it, it does look skewed because they did do a big ask that their records show, do you need that much if your operating budget's 125? So if we're only 6,000 away, to me, that's an easy cut from that program. It still gives them a sizable amount of funds. That's just my two cents. I know like we could spend all night going through each of these programs and rethinking <coughs> our rankings or what we thought in the first place, but that, that's just my two cents right now, just to maybe level set for a minute. Did I just don't think we should just you, you know, grab from one agency. Okay. I, I, I just don't think it should all come from one organization. Okay, there's Mary. Okay. I, I don't think that we should, you know, I agree with what you're saying, but I don't think it should all come from one organization. I think there are enough in here uh, where we can put a little bit from, from everybody. So, I just don't feel like that it's fair to pull it off from one organization. Okay. I, I don't think that we should pull them from the top ranked people though. I, I agree. Those alone. Did I miss something? How can you be just $6,000 short? I thought we were like $36,000 short. We, we were, I think it was before you joined the call, but we realized that um, Hill Country Mental Health, I think was the one that we had we had done a cut. We didn't give them 20% in the first round. We had cut them down because they had a very large ask as well. So once well, we corrected that and put them yeah. back at what they were the first time, we got to 506,000. So you cut Hill Country by how much? We oh, made them the yeah. same as what they were before, which was 20,000. You cut them by 20,000, okay. No, we, we didn't cut them by 20,000. We had when Carol did the new sheet and the new rankings, she just drug the formula all the way down the sheet. Mm -hmm. And that one we had cut to 20,000 the first time. So we just put it back to what it was. So the cut was $30,000. Yeah, I apologize. It was 30,000. Yeah, well, I, 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 I was okay. They, they asked for 250 and we gave them 20,000. So how can we cut them by 30? What am I missing here? We there was a correction done on the spreadsheet be before you got on the call. It was bigger than that, so it made it look like it was five hundred and thirty-six thousand. So once we oh, corrected oh, it, okay, now we're so five hundred six. Okay, so the number isn't five hundred thousand It's only uh, a lousy six thousand six hundred eighty dollars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and then, so Joanne's trying to talk. Just one second. No, okay. I was okay with taking the uh, six thousand, well, seven thousand from Iron Sharp and Me too. Okay. I'm not. I don't think it should all come from just one. It's, oh, what, it's not, what about? You know, I haven't done anything with the uh, with the uh, forty thousand still there, but I was just that's for this cut. I was okay with cutting it. The 6680 or the 7000 from there. Yeah, I think that to Rachel's point, we spent a lot of time doing the rankings and for it to get the second highest amount and it being the second to last program ranked just feels uncomfortable. Not that it's not a great program, not that they don't need the funds, not that, you know, there's a lot of work involved. I just think that it, to Rachel's point, I don't think it sits well that 
the person that got the, the, the organization that got the, one of the highest amounts that we're giving out was 37th in the ranking. Well, and, and okay, but we we know that, but we know how it got how it got there also. But what I'm saying, and maybe I'm not hearing you correctly, or, or Allison, did you say, or was it Joanne who was saying uh, you wanted to take how much from Iron uh, Yeah, I was okay with taking the uh, 6680 from them, mm -hmm. and that's all we need. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I, I don't, I don't agree with that. I was that. trying to I, do I the math. No, she doesn't need to be. Uh, you know, what is she second highest? No, this was oh. the. Well, that was ranking thirty-seven. Is that Okay. Oh, okay. So I missed that. Okay, I agree. I'm sorry. I didn't hear the ranking piece. Okay, so it sounds like all of you are saying. And subtract the sixty-six eighty from Melch, and that's how this would leave it. Allison, yes. Would you? I'm sorry to ask you to, <laughs> to run through it again because I couldn't hear Joanne, okay. uh, and I missed a piece on the ranking. Yes. So if you look at um, the blue column, AI, so what we've done is we've sorted the spreadsheet for top dollar give out um, in AJ. And then AI is their ranking. So out of 38 organizations, um, Iron Sharp and uh, Iron is ranked number 37 out of 38 in the way that we did all of our rankings plus the new guidance from the city council. So what we were saying is, if we're gonna make a cut at the top to get us to that $500,000 grant, it didn't feel comfortable that almost the last in the ranking would get just as much as gotcha. number two, number nine, number 10, that sort of thing. Okay, I missed that piece, I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. Agree. Well, and the people that uh, protested, they they kind of mentioned just that the the ones that complained about the money distribution. So, you know, to not try to address that, um, I don't think that's what we're doing, Gloria. I don't I don't think that we're no. I think you're off right now by saying that. I, I don't think you should say that because we got the guidance from the council. Um, oh, but but the, they're saying the same thing we're saying. They're saying well, the same no, thing. not really, not really. But we not can really? move forward. We, we can move on. I agree. Uh, Thank you, Allison. Okay, is this um, what the board wants to do? I guess I feel you know compelled to remind you just. FYI, that the council specifically asked you not to rank everyone across the board by percentages. And so I'm going to go ahead and like, if this is what y'all want to do, this is exactly what I'll present to council. But um, I think we should go back in and look at um, the... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> look at I think we need to move forward. Yeah, the only other option would be to, to create a flat rate that we do the top, uh, top 10. Like there's there's really not another option unless we want to go through 38 and discuss in detail. What were you going to say? The, the lowest one. Uh, that includes the iron sharpening. Uh, you want to sort it yeah, by rank? Sort it by rank. I'm going to sort it by rank. The lowest ranking ones we can take. Them. It is kind of sad we can't get more money to uh, yeah, the program that comes to mind is the shoes and the coats program. I don't want to, I don't want to get back to that. 
You know, I had that thought too, Gloria, that yeah. if we cut some of these bigger fundings for the the bottom ranks just a we, little bit, then we could fully fund those two programs. Yeah, yeah we agree. What are the two? Which two are y'all talking about now? Thirty-eight shoes. Talking about what? Cutting or giving? <laughs> giving. Giving. <laughs> the shoes and program. No, no, I agree. Program. You know, it's uh, we'll dig in. We'll go. Let's go dig in. Oh, all right. I, I'll dig. I'll dig. <laughs> So um, other than the uh, Iron Sharpens Iron, the other program that I kind of looked at uh, was the home program. Um, because, uh, um, you know, they asked for 150K and they got, what did they get? 30, 30, yeah. So um, let's take 10. Let's take 10 and give it to the shoe. Uh, okay. Let's go. Well, okay. You'll get no argument from me. Let's go. Do I have a consensus on that? Move it over there. Yes. Okay. Right. Right. Get it over there. There you go. Okay, so that gives us. And so I can add eight here and two here, or maybe I should do nine here. Okay, hang on. Undo. Okay, um, so we have 10, so I could add four here, so that gives them what they asked for, and then um, six here, which makes brings us up to eight. Oh, 80,000. How about that? Um, let's double check. Yeah, we're still at 500. Okay, I asked for 10. I'm okay with that. Okay. Are there any others that y'all want to read this? Well, I'm just going to see if there's any other small requests or maybe it's more impactful if they were to get it all. I know we talked with um, Hands of Hope last night and it sounded like they didn't have any uh, students for the next semester, but would be in the fall. So that lower amount I'm personally comfortable with. But I'm just curious if there were any others that were like where they're only asking you know, for 5,000 and maybe that's a little bit more impactful for them. The food bank, I was looking at the food bank and they're, they service all of Hayes County and um, Martindale, Buda and Kyle, as big as Kyle is, they contribute nothing. If I'm reading the, the statistics right, um, and I printed it out, I, I just want to make a point about that. That that seems not okay to me. Yeah, but just uh, remember that this money is going to the city of San Marcos. Well, where is the Bobcat? Bobcat. They're down here. They're number 34 uh, in the rankings. They requested 5,000, and right now they're going to get 1,000 because that's 20%. Well, let's dig in and see if we can find some. I agree with what you had the meeting with them. I agree with uh, uh, how they want to help uh, maybe a part of our society that other people don't want to help. And that they're coming in trying to help them with their needs. Uh, well, I know we had some debate around access. I think that it's reasonable to look at them because they were 41,000 as a grant. Well, let's get so, some of it. Yeah. Let's take some of it. Wanna take 10 from there? Yeah, let's take 10. Okay, do I have to Are we okay with that, everybody? Yeah. 
we can okay you have ten thousand to okay and put it where i think we only needed four right to fully fund or the bobcat scholarship yeah but we're not gonna theirs was five thousand yeah that's what they asked for okay yeah give them four mm, yes come on gloria well they don't you know i mean they give them like where is yeah. that we, they didn't get funded last year well they got but they didn't get given that four amount of money, a small amount of money once in a small you know i'm not sure how much that helps that's it all give it to them i i agree <laughs> <laughs> it's not, teeny you know, weeny dollars it, it is teeny weeny dollars that they give out so you know you'll be grateful okay <laughs> i took four from access four thousand and i put it on bobcat pride is that what i'm hearing yes can we see now who's who's maybe getting the least amount of money and just do a gut check now with the new the new amounts. What did we do for Hands of Hope? Did we give them well, that because they sixteen hundred? And so they had mentioned that they didn't have any students for this semester, but they were they had some for the fall, and they're gonna they'll utilize that to get at least you know one or two computers, I believe. So, oh, but they hadn't oh. used they didn't use all of their money. Right. So they still had, they were still sitting on okay. a little pot. They're, that contract is over, so they're not going to be able to utilize last year's funding. So they just missed out? They, yeah, they just left some on the table. Okay, with the okay. 16. And so how much of them? 16? So now I've sorted again by amount. So these are the smallest amounts that are going out the door. What about the uh, backpack program? Who? Which one is that? Uh, the CISD. Uh, I don't know what the, what uh, that's the food, right? The weekend. Well, <laughs> are you talking about uh, full fuel? It's up here. It's down here. Weekend food for hungry children is getting nineteen thousand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If we go back up, there's um, one where we were um, um, uh, the sexual assault and abuse for Caldwell uh, Women's Center. Yeah. It looks like we had given them, we had funded them the twenty, and now we're saying four. It went down to rank number 16 when we did the yeah. and that put them outside of the 55%, which y'all wanted to do across the board. And so 20% of their requests. Right. We need to plug some money in there. And to the sexual assault mm -hmm. women, women center? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the other one that sticks out is just the Meals on Wheels as well. We were going to give them the look like 82, and then now we're down at three for them. That's a good program, but they got millions of dollars. That's true. Over there, six. They're not going obviously, obviously, it's a good program. <laughs> But um, so are you? Are you, you guys are trying to look for money to subtract subtract from somewhere? Well, I thought we yeah. had six. We move it around. We just pulled in. What about the uh, rough draft? Okay, so here's the other one I had. Um, what what was Casa? What about, what about Casa? Can we take some from there? The superhero. 
take it from Casa and give it to the superhero? Is that what you're suggesting? I know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, take it to the superhero and give it to Casa. Uh, well, um, sexual assault and abuse that would give them three thousand, and that would give them a uh, seven thousand right there. Um, Casa got what? Casa is um, here at 11,000. I think we should leave that like it is. Yeah, they got more than half of what they asked for. No, they asked for 20. Oh, I said, yeah, they, they got 11. Got 11. Mm -hmm. 11 leave it alone. Okay. Leave it alone. Uh, they have, can we take 3000 from Rough Draft and put it um, at the sexual assault and abuse? That would bring them to seven. Would that be okay with everybody? Yes, I'm good sure. with that. Okay. Well, the other agency that I listed it by uh, agencies that ask for the most, one of the categories ask for the most money. I don't know how people feel about the, uh, uh, where is it? Um, <coughs> the Greater San Marcos Youth Council. They got two thirty-two thousand dollars. Oh wait. We want to move some of that around. Okay. Because that's another that's another like summer camp kind of thing, uh, um, which yes. is great. Greater San Marcos Youth Council. That's fifty-five percent of what they requested. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking 10,000 from them. Or did you want to take a little more? Where are you going? Yeah, I think right now they're the top ranked. I'm okay with taking 10, and then we'll decide what to do with the 10. Are y'all okay with that? Um, yeah, I guess. It depends on where you want to stick it. <laughs> well, they're both. So access and the family and youth success are very similar programs in nature. Is that, that's true, right? So they're both sort of after school summer programs. So right. we couldn't, we could apply the same amounts to them um, in my mind. So maybe they both get 35 okay. and then that gives us who gets who gets an eight to play with or something? What well, both get thirty? The greater you want to get the greater San Marcos Youth Council more money? No, no, no. no. That would be uh, that would be less. That'd be about six thousand off. You want to take six thousand? Yes. Okay. And then you want to you want to put it where? You want to put the money that we took. Where do we want to put that? I think we need to give Casa some more money. If I, let me see. I mean, I would like I would like the the sexual abuse center. Did we end up giving them any more? Yeah, we added uh, three thousand to so them. I brought that up to seven. Can we add a few more? Um, let's add a little bit more to Casa. Okay. Well, doesn't Casa have more resources than the Hayes County Women's Center with the sexual assault and abuse? No. They don't? No. And they're, 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 they're about the same resources. Yeah. About the same. 
Carson's budget, their program, their budget is two million. Mm -hmm. And um, the program budget is uh, 541,000. And the women's center is um, uh, 3.5 million. Okay. So give them a little bit, give them some money. Give them a little bit more money. What do we have hanging out there? What do we have? $8,500. We have how much? Eighty five hundred. Can we give them half? What do y'all think? Um, yeah, I guess. Bring it up to bring it up to fifteen. Yeah, bring oh. bring it up to at least fifteen. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Okay, so I'm hearing three out of Six. I would, <laughs> I'm good with that. I think that's fine. I would like to get the Women's Center 10 if possible. That would be three more there. I agree. Okay. How much did we cut home? Can we say 10 or? What would you can, we, can we take some, are you guys comfortable taking more from home? More than, more, more than 10? Well, yeah, we've got them at 20,000 now. We took 10. So, I mean, I don't know. It, just because it's one of the lower ranked organizations with a big ask. They've got 20 right now, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh yeah, we need to take a little more. <laughs> I agree. Well, and there's like, you know, I don't think they've got a budget. Um, they didn't submit anything. Did. Did that I give them 15000 I was thinking more like eight. Well, I kind of, I have, I have one that I want to give uh, a little more money to simply because uh, they're in crisis. Um, and, uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, um, Joanne might have <laughs> something to say about this, but um, pals, pals ask for 25, which is, you know, they don't, they don't overinflate what they ask for. So I appreciate that. And, and pals, and we gave them 15, but every single shelter is at capacity. San Marcos shelter is 175 percent at capacity they're the only one that's taken in any animals at all it's it's well, just give them three thousand more well god love you all right i would like to do that because there's such a big need and there literally is no other other than the mansa pet which is mobile and you can't even get in to see them and they provide so much and there's give them three and let's keep going okay all right but you can, you can make it an even five at 20 Gloria, Gloria, give them that three. Okay, but can I hear from other people like right now? Allison, Rachel, yeah. Okay, so on the on the pals one, Gloria, I agree with you completely. But isn't that program for affordable spay and neutering for pets? It's not for actually, you know, increasing the capacity to take in animals. That's their front primary thing but they also provide food um for uh, people that can't afford it for their pets um they uh, okay. inoculations, shots the reason that, that the shelters are full is because people can't afford to spend agreed pets. agreed that's why okay well, we had a question about them about where the funding was going because um, the question came out about the big dogs and Dripping Springs and, you know, how our funding out of, hey, you know, San Marcos was going up there, what they were contributing. That was this. the extra 5000 uh, You're right. That was the extra 5000 That's why I'm saying keeping them at thirteen seven. You've taken care of their needs already. And it would just add, because they're not going to use that for any food or anything else extra. They're going to use that for Wimberley. So that's I, I think that's not how it works. It's, it really isn't. They, no, it was Dripping Springs. 
So, uh, okay, y'all, the Dripping Springs program is where they send big dogs mm -hmm. out to Dripping Springs to get neutered, and then they come back to the city of San Marcos. So Dripping Springs is actually providing a service mm -hmm. out. So why were they asking for 5000 more for that? Because they have to pay for the spay and neuter, just like they have to pay for them in a veterinarian. So they're not, that's not how I heard that. Well, they, they, they work kind of in unison, you know, they move pets around as they need to. Um, and so what's uh, pay for transportation? What's our consensus on pals? I would say keep it where it is. Yeah, I, I I think we were saying getting it them to fifteen thousand was the was the ask. So it's only another. No, they are they're at fifteen thousand. No, uh, they're at thirteen seven fifteen. We decreased it. Why? They went down in their rank after the city council guidance was put in. Well, bring it back up to that fifteen, and, and let's keep. Going. Yeah, I'd be comfortable yeah. bringing it. I know we had this conversation in the last one, so I'd be comfortable with what we agreed to. Yeah, I agree. Did did we ever finish uh, moving some funds from home up to, I think we were talking about the women's shelter? Um, we, okay, let's see. Women's shelter now is at 10. We we still have some to move. Did so you give like, Casa some more money? We, I think uh, we did. Yes. Uh, it's now at 15 instead of 11. Yeah, we did, Mayor. Yeah. So then we still have 5,000. Right. right. Right now, the question is, do you want to subtract from home? I didn't hear a consensus on that. Right now we're at $499,600. So we have 400 to spread around or you can subtract from other people like you're doing in continue. I still want to give Pal some more money. I'm sorry. Gloria. What? <laughs> the only agency that deals with this issue, and it's a big it issue. It is an issue, it, it, and I agree with you. But I, I, you know, I think they're sitting pretty right now. They yeah. mm -hmm. are. Uh, I disagree, but so let's spread the 4,000 we have. Is no, that what we we're have, doing? We have 400 too. Yeah, 400 right now on the table. Oh, sorry. All right, that's my glasses. And what we did not resolve, I, I mean, I'm not, uh, you know, on anyone's side or not, but we haven't resolved the question of taking any from home. It's still at 20,000. Just the question was still out there. And Home Center deals with our... Uh, homeless yeah they give them emergency shelter we've had a, we've had several freezes yeah. that are a bit unprecedented well okay I, where is it um that's but that's not what they they're but the other shelter is primarily. south Side community center what does south Side community center have they have for their shelter they have 28 sticks Okay. I think we should so, just leave them alone. What about anybody, the other agency that asked for the most money? Um, let me see. Uh, Iron Sharpens Iron was 40. Treasured Protege came in at 35,750. You want to touch any of that? No. 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 Those are all numbers. You're looking, I don't know why, but you're looking at the old numbers. Treasure Protege yeah. now, let's see, Protege Program is now, they are now tied for 16th place, and therefore they only get 20% of their ask, which is 13,000. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I, okay, if I've got old information, then, you know, that's what I've been okay, Why don't we give Protege uh, some <laughs> more money? Say what? Why don't we give Protege a few more dollars? We only have like 400 in. Give it to them. Well, we have to hear from other people. What do y'all think? Well, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm fine with that. 400 is not going to be. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. 
I don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the 400 on treasured protege. And I'll say, uh, make it $402 so that we have every dollar spent. Yeah, and I'd also, I know there was some concern about the percentages. I'd just like to call out that we use the percentages as a starting point and we've clearly reallocated based on thorough discussion. Yeah, so just, and you know, I was about to ask the same question. Carol, can we not present this with the percentages on this spreadsheet? Because that's where we started, like Allison just said, that's where we started. We used it as a template and then we made changes. Here, here. <laughs> and the last thing I want is for city council to see, oh, you used a percentage and not dig into the details and reject yeah. what we're proposing. Okay, we dug into the details. Carol can present it in a way that, yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave out the whole percentage. Right? Is everyone okay? Can we look over this real quick? Is everyone okay with uh, the proposed amounts that we have? I'm okay with it if everyone else is okay, and we have to hear from everybody else. Well, we will be taking a roll call vote. But yes. Yeah, this would be the no. now just saying speak up or we're we're make any changes. changes. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay with the way everything is. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, we need to take an official roll call okay. vote. Let me go ahead and do this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and call for a vote that the proposed amount we what we send the city council. The, the motion is made by Allison Duplishan. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second. second. Okay. Mary, okay. Okay, and then we'll call the roll. Do you want me to okay. okay, I'm gonna call the roll for this vote. Allison? Uh agree. Mary? Agree. Monica? Approve. Rachel? Approve. Joanne? Approve. Gloria. Agree. Okay. So it's approved unanimously. Okay, then you see where you are. We will now hold an after action review discussion evaluation of this year's grant allocation process and grade recommendations for next year. We'll also receive in our packet the after action review from the form. Gloria, would you like to begin the discussion request of this item to be placed on the agenda? Uh what I was going to recommend is that since it's in our folder, if we want to print it out and uh, fill it out and print it out and give it to Carol uh, by a deadline instead of uh, going through each one of them and discussing them tonight, unless y'all just want to do that. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Help me with this. Okay, so this is the item that you brought up as a future agenda item last week. <coughs> no, so I, hope, I, I, I just I just don't know what what so we want to wrap it tonight, or do we just want to fill this out and give it to Carol uh, at a later time? Well, even though I although I proposed you know doing this, I, I haven't addressed it. Uh, I haven't given it uh, uh, the amount of thought I want to because I was working these numbers and looking at some other stuff. So, yeah, I don't mind handing it in to Carol unless somebody wants to talk about something specific that they want to change or do differently. Or where's the rest of this form? I can't move it. I'd like to request some additional time to review it. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Mary. So how does everybody else feel about that? I agree. Yeah, I'd like to give it some thought. I, I, want to I agree. Serious okay. thought, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. 
and then and then what? I mean, this is it for us, right? So when do we uh, look at look at this? Yeah, just turn it into Carol. We don't have to discuss it. And why don't we put a deadline on it just to make sure I, you know, can collect them all at once? So would the end of February be long enough? Oh yeah, no, yes. that's fine. Now, I have a question. Do we also want our applicants to fill this out to kind of get an idea of what they felt like the process was like? So process improvement for us next year? That's a good idea, man. I like that. Okay. So we can, I hear three people saying yes. So I'm thinking we'll go ahead and send it to the applicants. Rachel, Allison? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I may, um, yeah, I guess I'll give them till the end of February as well. Does that sound okay? Yeah, it does. You'll get it all in at the same I'll time. I'll send it to them tomorrow. Because we have it already. It's now time to receive updates from the board members on activities since the last meeting. Does any board member have an update for the group? All right, we'll move to the next item, which is the future agenda item. Board members may provide requests for discussion items for a future agenda in accordance with the board's approved bylaws. No future discussion can be held related to topics proposed until they are posted on a future agenda in accordance with the Texas Open Meeting Act. Does any board member want to request an item for a future agenda? Um, only that the the applicants speak more uh, specifically to um, the uh, what we're rating them on. What you talking You're, about? So are you at saying should we? I'm sorry, Gloria, I'm not understanding it. Okay, so the the rating for the the way we rate them, the risk versus. Um, the other categories, mm -hmm. um, they, they don't always speak specifically to those issues. Um, and if we're rating them on it, then they, sh they should. Um, uh, more specifically to the, the budget, the, um, the salaries, the um, um, how many people they actually serve, um, uh, more statistics rather than just, you know, uh, general information. Um, well, I know that we did ask them not to repeat what was on their application. Well, so um, you're proposing changes to the application form? Hold it. Yeah, hold on a second. Hold it. Go ahead. I gotta get to the um, well, she's wanting to what is score. That's what it sounds like. Wanting them to be more on on that how we score. Yeah, the evaluation form. Okay. Um, you know, because you were uh, um, you uh, Carol was uncertain how uh, specifically uncertain about the salaries um how how much of their uh request is or how much goes to salary um uh i'm going to be adding the council priorities to the application and then um we'll have a meeting in june to talk about the process and at that meeting we can talk through the ideas for the application and then any feedback that we get from these forms. Yeah, I mean, in, in just in general, I mean, there's there's four categories for evaluating and uh, how many for risks. They can't yeah. really help, but just speaking more specifically to, to this criteria, so it's not so so I have to dig for it, so it's not so vague. So um, uh, we understand this. Is that still confusing? What? No, I, I 
I hear what you're saying. Um, so I'll take that in as um, a recommendation for the application um, to yes. make it more clear compared to the evaluation criteria. Yeah. Like, you know, overhead compared to program cost, you know, the, well, I don't need six pages of financials, you know, for uh, <laughs> overall agency. I, you know, I, I kind of would be more interested in what you're doing for San Marcos and, you know, the program cost versus, you know, uh, the, uh, what you're asking for, uh, you know, overhead, how they're using the funds. I, I don't want to believe the point. It's just, you know. Okay, I've written it down and just, I would encourage you to also it onto that response form that you're going to fill out the um, after action review. Put it on that because, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, I'll put it on that. And, and I think it's a great idea that they, they um, that the agencies themselves uh, have some input on the after actions report. Yeah. How, I mean, especially since they can't appeal to us, they can give us feedback, you know, yeah. on, on how they think, you know, we could improve or do something different or eliminate whatever would, would just happen, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. I'd be very interested in their feedback. Yeah, so they'll get that in. Okay. So we should move on to the next. Thank you. We'll now move on to the question and answer session with press and public. This is an opportunity for the press and public to ask questions related to items on the agenda. Staff, is anyone present in person online or by phone to speak to this agenda? Okay, so we did have some questions come in on the Q&A board um, from Melissa Rodriguez, who's with Hayes Caldwell Women's Center. Um, she's asking, I'm sorry, just wondering if council recommended to not look at it from percentages because it creates a disproportionate amount to those who requested more even though they ranked lower. So I think y'all addressed that during the meeting. Um, I believe there was also concern about the highest ranked applications receiving less funding than lower ranked applications simply because they asked for more money. So y'all looked at that. And then she asked specifically about Hayes Caldwell Women's Center. Why was it cut from 20,000 to 4,000? And we answered that. Melissa is still in attendance. And so I want to ask um, Melissa, do you have any questions about the agenda items? Hi, yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so no, I, I was just asking questions because I, I did attend the council meeting when city council gave some of that directive. <laughs> And so that this seemed to be still skewed. So that's why I was asking those questions, but. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then do y'all have any questions? The uh, only thing I would, um, I guess, ask is that have y'all thought about maybe doing a like a survey or something like that of the uh, just kind of get better better feel. I mean, y'all pretty much know what what the needs are in the community. But just kind of get a feel of, of uh, not just from the agencies, but from the community as well. I mean, however, y'all can reach out to them to get a little more information on it. I know they did that a number of years ago, uh, and I'll try to find that information that they gave me, and maybe that may help. Yeah, so far we haven't done it because of staff capacity, I can say, but um, so I'll put it down as a question asked. Okay. But I know they, I think they reached out to the university to do that survey for the city. They did a homelessness needs assessment instead of a community wide. Okay. And so I didn't feel like it would quite be the same. Okay. Yeah. But I'll try to get a copy of uh, what I have and uh, they may provide some information. Or Sure, that'd be helpful. And also, I wanted to, and it's the first time I've really sat in any of y'all's deliberations. So uh, I know y'all always have a hard decision to to make and everything with limited funds, but I just want to thank, thank y'all for allowing me to be here and get in on, on the process. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Okay, 
Did you have any? No. Okay. And um, with that, that's everyone in attendance. So that would be it. Thank you all for your participation. Do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? The motion is made by. Not everybody wants that. Allison. Thank you. And do I hear a second? Second. Okay, all in favor say aye. All again say aye. 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 Thank you all. Okay, Thank you very much. I'll be taking this to city council, um, I believe, at the March 7th meeting. If not March 7th, then the March uh, 21st meeting. But uh, we're going to try to get on the March 7th agenda. You said March 7th or March 21st? March 7th or March 21st, but oh, right. we're trying to get on the 7th agenda. Okay. And what time is the meeting? The council meetings start at 6. At six. Mm -hmm. They have a a citizen comment period before, and then we will be somewhere on the agenda. So it, it just depends on, you never know what time that item's gonna come up. And y'all had a meeting once before the start of the free, but was that a workshop? So that's, that's a workshop. Yeah. Okay, thanks y'all.